Let's choose Tony Scani's ever attack on Minister Barbara Girisi a little bit against him and the scientist that he represents. <music> Good morning, good morning from a beautiful, beautiful Ingwe Beach, St. Lucia Estuary, Isimangalisa Wetland Park, South Africa. What a privilege to be here. What a privilege to be able to share this with you guys. This channel can now only go from strength to strength. Yesterday afternoon when Pardetan, oh not, it was yesterday morning still. Let's just find focus here. When Pardetan and myself were on the beach, the tide was quite high and the ocean was rough. Just look how peaceful and calm this ocean is beautiful the sunrise and the wave dancing in unison with each other Gully-wise, there's not much happening in St. Lucia at the moment. The beaches are long and flat. So I suggest you guys consider low tide fishing north of the main beach. 40 minutes north of main beach, you should find walker, marker number four. Or if you can reach the slides, that would be your preferred low tide fishing while the beaches are long and flat like this. Just when I thought that with the flow rate in the Mkuzi River and its arbitraries, the water level is going to increase and even the flow rate of the Velozi River, I see it cannot even pretty much sustain the current water levels here at the estuary mouth. This is just just south of the boardwalk entrance on St. Lucia Estuary Beach. We can see that the water levels is not sustained. Sustained it recedes on a daily basis. Minister Barbara Grisi, could you please tell us why are you taking our power, the power from the public, the very, very little bit of, of power that we've got under the flawed NEMA Act, why are you taking it away and giving it to the scrupulous scientists that care nothing about us here on the ground? you making them little gods and this is why in the dark ages scientists was burned at the stake because they think they little gods they think they understand god's creation but they're not religious to understand god's creation you have to be religious and god didn't give us dominion over his creation so that we can be complacent and lazy and don't mitigate human impact that's not why God gave us dominion I please ask you to back down from this bill that you are proposing taking our power to object to the scientists scrupulous money hungry power that objection you're taking away from us i please i please from the bottom of my heart stop doing that 
stop giving science godly power. They don't deserve it. They've proven that they are scrupulous. They think they're all powerful. And they're not applying their God-given talent for the betterment of humanity and the planet. They got power hungry, they got greedy, and they sit in air-conditioned offices and make assumptions. Please don't take our power to object to that away from us. Just a quick glimpse of the sunrise. It's a very pale one this morning. You can only enjoy it by being here. Photography cannot do it justice whatsoever. It's still beautiful. I'm still humbled. But I cannot transfer the ambience into your, onto your computer or TV screens. It's not possible. With the water pushing from a Kuzi and Flozi River, it's still receding here at the estuary mouth. One thing I must admire about this SX60HS is all the settings that you can go through and find the color combination that suits you best. Now I might have to do some slight adjustments. I don't know how this is going to look on a big screen TV. But I think I'm pretty much on the button. Just look at that beautiful sunrise. Guys, and from all the photo receptors in the bridge cameras, I found Canon the only one that can handle the sunrise. I had to reduce the camera settings. My current editing equipment can't handle the 1080 60 frame per second video size to do editing. So um, I'm back on 1080p 30 frames per second. It's going to take a while to upgrade the editing equipment. Us gentlemen caught a nice little flatfish here. Yeah? We didn't even see it happening. So the guys that's into the non-edibles, they are coming out. Wave Dancer and Ocean Commotion, two big boats launching today.
got a couple of boats launching today, but mainly locals. Guys, those that don't want to use the 4x4 on the beach, the NSRI tracker is available to rent to bring you from the parking area to the launch site and to take you back from the launch site to the parking Just area. Just a quick look at the graveyard. Not a place where you want to be today. There's some ugly, ugly ones. They're not very big, but you can see on their formation, they're close on each other and they are powerful. So you can get a thumping if you land in the graveyard today. Or shall we change the name to the blender? What do you guys think? Graveyard or blender? Oh, we've got a huge increase in water level and infrastructure the damage happening. Oh, Minister, when are you going to attend the meeting so that you can see what is going on in St. Lucia? Somehow your advisory committee made you complacent to the call and the plight of St. Lucia. What's happening, Minister Barbara? No, please. How much water is enough? Somewhere, somehow, the scientists must realize that enough is enough. Your manipulation is not bearing any fruit. It's co causing destruction and devastation, hunger, famine. <laughs> At this rate, I will never get advertisers. They just don't have the kahunis to go with the truth and the way that I present the truth. <sighs> so then I'll resort to begging. I'll go and stand on the bridge on the, um, at St. Lucia with a board around my neck and a cup in my hand and say, please support the Revive St. Lucia campaign. I thought I could commercialize it and it can run as a commercial venture. There's people passionate enough to buy advertising space on the videos. <laughs> the way that I present the truth apparently it doesn't draw a lot of uh, attention to the advertisers will to expose themselves on the channel.